Alright, welcome back everyone. Today we are going to make a low poly pine tree. Let's take a look. So this is the pine tree we'll be making today. The idea is to use my sculpting tools to shape the upper portion of the tree so we can create some interesting looking foliage. Should be a lot of fun, so let's jump right in. Okay, let's begin. Go up to your poly modeling shelf, add this cylinder into the scene. We're going to use this to make the foliage. What I want to do first is I'm going to press T on the keyboard to bring out the poly cylinder window and I'm going to change the subdivision axis to about 10. Next, I want to grab these top faces. So I'm going to go into face mode, holding down the right mouse button, choosing face, and then I'm going to hold down the tab key to go into drag select and just select these top faces. All right, we're going to use my smart extrude. So press R on the keyboard. What we want to do is um, first scale this in, press the W key to bring this down, and then um, press R again to make sure you're in the scale tool, hold down shift, and this is how you smart extrude. Just drag that, and now we have um, the beginning of our middle section. We're um, going to make the three sections of our pine tree, and now press W to go into your move tool, hold down shift to extrude up, and then scale that in as well. And then we have one more section, which is the top. Um, hold down shift again to extrude out. Go back into your move tool, hold down shift again, and then bring this to the top. And what I wanna do is merge that to the center. So I'm gonna to go to edit mesh, merge to center. All right, let's go into the side view to adjust our profile. Tap the space bar, go into here, and here you can just adjust it if you like. What I'm going to do is Scale in these just a little bit. And then a scale in these a little bit as well. So I have something like this. And then I'm going to bring this whole section down a little bit. And maybe this entire section down as well. All right, let's take a look. I'm happy with that. Let's now um, give this some subdivisions so that we can do a bit of sculpting on it. Um, but before we do that, what I want to do is maybe just make a tree trunk and save a copy and we can compare um, an extra low poly version to the version we're making today. So go into your object mode. Um, how I get into the component modes is using that um, right mouse button, right? So here we go, into object mode, select your mesh. I'm just going to move this up a bit for now. And now I'm gonna make a tree trunk. So same thing, let's add a cylinder. And for this one, pressing T on the keyboard, I just want to give it a six for subdivision axis. Press enter, let's scale this down. And I want to grab those top faces. Um, so let's go into face mode, holding down the tab key and doing a, a drag select. There you go. Let's scale this in a bit. Maybe move this down, rotate a bit a touch a bit of touch, rotate it a touch, and then let's scale that as well. So this time I'm gonna go select this extrude option and just drag my arrow out a little bit and then scale that in. All right, I think that should be decent for the tree trunk. Maybe a little bit less of a bend. All right, let's grab the foliage we have, bring it back down to about here, and looks pretty good. I wanna duplicate this, so I'm going to select both of them, Control D, and just move a copy aside. So we have something like this. And that looks pretty good. Um, so for most, not most, but for some projects, um, what you can do is just go with something like this. I see it in a lot of games and, and projects. Um, and if that's a look that works for you, it's fine. We're gonna do a bit more with this one though. All right, I'm gonna turn on wireframe on shaded for now. And let's um, delete this history. So we have a bit of a history here. I wanna just delete that. And I'm going to isolate this foliage for now, clicking this isolate button. And let's um, remesh this and retopologize. So go up to mesh and there's a remesh button here. I'm just gonna reset this. And um, the setting that it um, remeshed it at is fine. If these edges were too high, the edge length, you would 
lose some of the form. We don't want that. But where it was, it was fine. I'm just going to type in port 5 here. And then um, what we want to do now is select this, delete that history, and retopologize it. And for the retopologize settings, I'm just going to reset this. For face count, I'm going to choose something that gives me enough to sculpt with. I'm going to choose 30,000. And for face uniformity, I'm going to drag this up to 1. I want those faces to be as uniform as possible. I'm going to click retopologize. And after a few seconds, Amaya should retopologize this for us. There we go. Now let's select this, delete the history, and do a little bit of sculpting. Um, for this phase, I'm going to be fairly quick. I don't want to spend too much time, but um, you'll get the idea, and you can spend some time to really sculpt this the way you want. I'm going to choose this um, lift brush, the first one. And the first thing I want to do is maybe um, smooth out some of these side um, edges. So I'm going to increase the, my brush size, holding down B on the keyboard, and using the left mouse button to press down, I can drag and increase that brush size. And um, that increases and decreases the brush size. So now I can hold down strength, <laughs> strength. I can hold down shift, I'm thinking ahead a bit, hold down shift, and I can um, smooth this out, these sections out. It's not a big deal, I just want to take it down a little bit. Um, to get into your brush settings, just click this. I believe my, I need to reset this. There we go. Um, this, the smooth option was a little bit too, um, too low. Okay. To adjust the brush strength, uh, just hold down M and the left mouse button. So that's what I wanted to say. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to go down, go around quickly. Just take down some of these hard edges a bit. Oops. All right, so let's go back into our lift brush, which we have here. Um, and what I want to do with this one is, um, one, decrease that strength. So something around here is fine. Um, or using M as that hotkey, right? You'll have this slider that you can adjust. And then um, for the brush size is B, take this down. And what I want to do is just carve in a bit. So the lift brush works by building up the form. So lifting it up a little bit, right? That's a little bit strong. Let's just decrease that a little bit more. But what I'm going to do is hold down control to push in some of these surfaces. Because when we decimate later, it'll create interesting volume to our tree. Um, let me see if I can be fairly quick on here. Just want to show you guys how this works. Um, Right, so I'm going to go around these, these cones, just pushing in this form. Um, I'm changing direction every once in a while. I'm keeping it a little bit random, but I am considering a bit of a flow to it. Okay, that should be good for that one. And if I was just sculpting this tree on my own, I would definitely spend more time but I don't want this tutorial to get too long, so bear with me while I just adjust this form a little bit as well. All right, I think that should be fine. Now what I want to do is um, these this rim here at the bottom, I want to take some of that in. So I'm going to use, um, let's try this brush here, which is build up a surface. I'm going to click on that, and if I hold down Control, I can push that in a bit. I'm going to use it in combination with um, the smooth brush as well. So I'm going to go around and just take in some of these sections a little bit. The strength might be a little bit high, so I'm just going to take that down a touch. And you'll see the effect this has um, in a bit. So. So what I'm first doing is just holding down control, taking that in, and then I'm smoothing it out with that shift key. And maybe I'll do just um, a couple more sections on the bottom so that you get the idea of it. 
But what I do, can do if a little faster, what I should have done is just did all this part, section first and then hold down shift and smooth out now. All right, I think that should do it. Oops. Maybe here as well. Okay. All right, so now we have this mesh. I'm just going to close this window. And I'm going to select the mesh. And now what we want to do is retopologize it with this new edge flow. Okay. So uh, go up to mesh, retopologize, open up that option box. And for the target face count, I only want about 10,000 here. Just enough to capture that form. And then for face uniformity, I'm going to drag the slider back to zero. I want Maya to calculate the quad size it needs to capture this. Right? I'm going to click retopologize. And um, depending how long this takes, I'll fast forward it to the point where it's done. OK, it just finished. Now we have a new um, edge flow for our mesh. Let's select the mesh. We want to delete that history. So we have a fast button here under the poly modeling shelf. Click Delete History. And then what we want to do now is triangulate it, harden those edges, and reduce. So I'm going to go to Mesh, Triangulate, Mesh Display, Harden Edge, select the mesh again. I'm going to delete that history. And now let's reduce it. And all we need to do now is just drag the slider. It pulls away the geometry, reduces it. What I'm going to do is just drag that all the way to 100. And then hold down Control so it doesn't drag as fast. I'm going to start dragging it back until I get the look that I want for it. Let's take a look. That's already looking pretty interesting. Yeah. I'm going to turn off wireframe unshaded. And now you can see that um, it looks quite a bit different from the other one. So let's um, unisolate this, add a color onto it, and maybe compare the two. So. Just going to bring this one over a little bit. Um, I have a couple of Lamberts I made from earlier. So I'm just, I'm just going to select the two top foliage sections, assign this Lambert I made, and then let's do the same for the bottom. And there you go. Um, you can see that they both have quite a, a different look to them. Um, I'm quite fond of this one, but I do see this style in a lot of games and projects, and um, it looks really good as well. So it's whatever you like. Um, another thing you can do with this, just so that, um, actually both, but especially this one, is um, we can give it a bit of a rotate just to uh, make it a little bit more random. So I can go into the vertices here if I want, and I can just, just give that a little bit of a rotate. And it has... Um, an interesting look to it. Gives it an interesting look. There we go. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's take a look. I don't want to overdo it. And one of the things with this kind of art is it's nice to check, um, um, go around it, right? Make sure that the silhouette looks kind of interesting all the way around. I think that looks pretty good. I may have over rotated, so I'm just going to bring this back a little. And there we go. Um, without too much time, we have a pretty nice uh, looking low poly trees or low poly, tr um, couple low poly trees. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on making a low poly pine tree. We will see you in the next video. Until then, this is Digital Dreambox, your destination for game art.